Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in today. Welcome to Edureka. So guys, this session is about performing some of the pattern in the output, which is our, which are the fancy outputs. And these are some of the questions which you would get in the interview test. So this session is about for your Python interview preparation. So we look at in an hands-on manner how we can generate some patterns using Python programming. As you know, Python is one of the programming guys, which is most in demand programming language right now. And this Python has various application. You can use this Python programming language for web development, data science, machine learning, deep learning, even in scenario of animation, you can use everywhere. That's the demand that we have for Python programming language. So today we'll see how we can generate some patterns in the output using the various functionalities that we have inside this programming language that is Python guys and it is a mix of like I can say this is more of a mix of this is more of a hands-on session. So just stay with me till the end. I'm sure you'll have fun. Okay, so let's get started and let's see what do we have as part of our today's learning agenda. Now as part of our learning session today, so we'll understand how to write a star pattern program how we can perform a number pattern program and how we can perform an alphabet character pattern programs and we'll see all these things in an hands-on manner okay so i'll do my best to simplify wherever possible now in order to ensure that your success in this learning journey in the python certification training program we follow a structured learning approach now when we say structured learning approach it's an approach where you not only learn theoretically but also learn by performing in a hands-on manner and this hands-on manner in combination with the industry expert will ensure that you become job ready by learning this program so in the first module you learn about python certification training and this is followed by a hands-on session and in second module it's about working with sequences and file operation which are nothing but the data structures and working with external file and in third module it's about a deep dive into the functions and object oriented programming concepts and in fourth module it's about working with modules and how to handle the exceptions and this is followed by in the fifth module you'll start working with numpy library which is a library for performing the mathematical operation and linear algebra related operation and in module 6 you learn to work with data manipulation using pandas library in module 7 you learn to create the visualization using matplotlib now as you proceed in module 8 you learn about gui programming and in module 9 you learn about the web pages and representation of information using the plots and followed by performing the computer vision using OpenCV. Performing the computer vision using OpenCV, and this is a self paced course. So, this is how your structured learning approach when it comes to Python learning would look like. As you can clearly see, you are covering each and every core topic. And along with covering the core topic, we are ensuring that you also have enough hands on exercises to practice and to learn more. So this is about the structured learning approach. So let's look at the generation of patterns in Python programming language. Now some of the commonly generated patterns is like star pyramid pattern, half pyramid pattern, triangle pattern, hourglass pattern, diamond pattern, inverted pyramid patterns. So these are some of the common types of patterns that we can generate with stars. So let's see how we can generate this. Now, as I mentioned guys, will implement it in a hands-on manner will implement this in a hands-on manner so let's get started and let's build it in a hands-on manner so we'll write the code in google collab great okay now let's do one thing let's start by writing a simple pyramid pattern so it's a simple pyramid pattern which i'm going to create okay so in order to generate this simple pyramid pattern a function will be written and i'll just help you by understanding why uh, like how it will be written okay so this is how a code would look like so here i have written a function okay 
So here we have an outer loop to handle the number of rows. So we have this outer loop and inside my inner loop, I'll just go ahead and mention the number of stars as per my requirement. And I'm placing the stars one next to each other. Okay. So let me just execute this. See, this has generated a simple pyramid pattern. On each line, I'm just printing the star. Depending on the line number, I'm printing the number of stars. Okay, so this is how we can get a simple pyramid pattern, guys. So this is just a simple pyramid pattern. Now, instead of five, if I say it as 10, so it will display the pyramid at 10 level, see? So this is an example of simple pyramid. Now, this is one way I can also implement it in a different way as well by generating a Python list. So you can do that as well, okay? And the another thing is like, if I want to generate a triangle, okay? That's a common step or that's a common problem. If I want to generate a triangle. So if I want to generate a triangle, then the way that I can do is, I'll write a function called triangle. Let me show you how does the function would look like. This is a triangle, okay? And here, first I'll get the number of spaces, okay? K is given as n minus one, okay? And then I'll get the outer loop to handle the number of rows and inner loop to handle the number of spaces, okay? And then we'll just keep on iterating. So we'll decrement the value of K for each loop and then we'll print the values of star. Now, if I just execute this, so this is going to create a triangle like structure for me. See, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and five. So if I increase the value of N, so this will generate the triangle with six steps. Okay, now this is about a triangle pattern, guys. Okay, now let's look at the number pattern. So in the scenario of this numbers, so instead of star, I'll be interested in printing the pattern in the form of numbers. Now in order to print that number pattern, so we'll write one function, which is called as number pattern. So here I'm initializing the value of N and I'm initializing the value of num to be equal to one. Now after that, I'm going to have an outer loop to handle the number of rows. It's the same pattern guys, whether it is at, whether it is a pyramid, whether it is a number pattern, we have the outer loop to take care of the number of rows and we have the inner loops to initialize and to specify the values, that's it. Okay, so if I execute this, this is how it would look like. Now let's look into the another pattern that we'll see. So this time we'll do one thing, we'll, uh, generate the numbers but here instead of using the same number what we'll do is we are going to generate the different numbers okay in order to do the same so this is a different pattern okay so i'll write the code that would look like this and if i execute this see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so this is another way of specifying the pattern see so this is another way of specifying the pattern guys. Now alternatively, we can also display the character pattern as well. In order to display the character pattern, there's one more function that I want to share it with you. That's called as an alphabet. So this is a function and here what it will do is it works in a similar way. The only difference is in this scenario. So I'll convert the number from its ASCII number. That's what I'm doing guys. That's it. Okay, I'm just converting the number into its ASCII representation. So this is how we are going to generate the character pattern. Now instead of using the same uh, character, I can also specify the pattern where it is a continuous pattern. So this is one more code, which is, uh, yeah. So this is how it would look like, okay? All right, guys. So what we have done in our hands-on learning session today is 
we have seen how we can generate the pattern so how we can generate the various types of patterns in python programming language now interestingly this is not like whatever that we have seen today is just a part guys so you can go as creative as possible so in our current scenarios i can say we have implemented with the help of python functions now alternatively you can replace this python functions now in some scenarios i've made use of range you can also think about an alternative way how we can utilize it and if you can speed up or if you can use any other techniques i recommend you to think in that perspective so it's all about creative thinking and how you would implement it so if you can reduce the number of lines in the code just think in that way and how you can ensure that you are going to improve the code so think in that way and definitely it will come a very long way in your learning and your in your interview preparation journey so i saw i saw an amazing blog at edureka website that's called as interview questions for python so this is a latest updated collection set of interview questions i highly recommend you to go through this and use it for your interview preparation guys this will definitely come a very long way if i want to highlight some of the important question or give you a feel how does the overall questions would look like so this has the questions at various level and it even tests on your core python programming as well so it starts with pep8 so which you may not be knowing depending on the uh, domain that you're working but these are some of the questions which are being asked in the interview especially on the technical round of interviews and what are the python namespaces decorators dictionary and list comprehensions difference between dot py and dot pyc files slicing you can see like we it has covered almost each and every required topic and you can also see there are some questions which are related to monkey modification which we would say so there's a lot of interesting stuff that is being covered over here to ensure that it will be useful for your interview preparation so ensure that you use it make the best of it and if you have an interview coming up ensure that you refer this blog as a quick refresher to gain some more confidence in this domain of data this python programming language and as i mentioned this python is used in various domains so i'm sure this would help you a lot in your data science learning journey as well with this we come to the end of today's session guys so we have seen about star pattern number pattern character pattern as well so i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks again for joining in i look forward to seeing you next time take care guys